This is an easy side dish, great for holidays. It can be made up ahead of time. It's butternut squash stuffed with bacon and dates and coated with toasted walnuts. The first step is to have roasted these butternut squash um, as explained in the text there and then you're going to leave them to cool completely. When they're cooled completely then we can proceed on to the next stages. We have the ingredients together. I've got the bacon, the onion, and the dates that I have uh, pulled apart and taken the pits out. I'm using um, this mosca canto uh, but you can substitute balsamic vinegar. It's not as good. But, uh, you know, you have to make do with what you can. And mustard conta is not that easy to come by, especially a good Italian one. So, I put this over the top of the dates. And this is going to go in the microwave with cling film over it for uh, about a minute, a little bit over. And uh, to make sure that it's nice and steamy and, and it's all absorbed. Meanwhile, in another pan, we're going to begin cooking the bacon. When this comes out of the microwave, you can take the knife, put a little hole in it just a bit extra steam out and then just let it sit there let it steep in the in the juices after cooking the bacon for about five minutes on a heat of six on one to ten um, adding onions to this and salt and we'll continue cooking on the same heat level And after five minutes more of cooking, so it's been a total of ten minutes that the, this has been cooked, now I'm going to add in the mascarpone and the, the dates here. And the three quarter teaspoon of thyme. And I'm going to kill the heat and just let it sit here like this, cool off a little bit while we turn our attention to the squash. Now we have the task of um, taking first the little stringy bits out of here. We're just going to get rid of these out of the squash. There's no point in using those. Also, if you see any seeds in here at this point, obviously make sure you get rid of those. Now we have to scoop out a cavity. Make sure that you don't dig too deep, otherwise you'll puncture the back end of the, the skin and you don't want to do that so take this carefully out and we're going to be using the, the pieces that we get out of here we're going to be using these as also as part of the filling so just do it gently it'll be fine Now, into the food processor bowl, we have the pieces of squash that we took out. We have uh, an egg yolk, and we have this onion, bacon, the, all this stuff that we cooked. So it all goes together. Now we grind this up, but not too finely. We don't want to make a paste. Okay, after we've started grinding it, I'm going to add uh, about a handful of breadcrumbs in. You have to kind of judge how much to use. You don't want to make it too bready, but it needs a little bit as a binder. And you simply spoon the mixture into the cavities and uh, now it's ready to go in the oven. If you wanted to, you could leave it at this stage. Refrigerate it until you were actually ready to, uh, to cook it and finish it off. But if you need it right away, of course, you can do that too. Preheat the oven, stick it in, we're ready for the next stage. And while the squash is just roasting, we toast the walnuts, being careful not to burn them, of course. And once they're toasted, you chop them up with uh, either cilantro or thyme. Thyme will make this very strongly thyme flavored. Sometimes that's good, depends on what you like. If you put cilantro in, it will give you the green color and add some variety in the flavor. Yeah, it's just a matter of choice. You're not looking for powder here. We're just looking to get it into crumbs so we can 
apply this to the top of the squash. Okay. okay, after it comes out of the oven, we've got this walnut and herbs that we're going to put over the top of this. While it's still warm, this will help it stick into the, uh, the surface. And we're going to let this cool off a little bit more before we slice it. Also look for my cocktail book, Cocktails of the South Pacific and Beyond, Advanced Mixology, available through Amazon online.